Hi, welcome to the Belfry. This is the Brabazon Golf Course. My name is Chris Ryan, and in this video, we're looking at helping those golfers who hit the ground before the ball with their iron clubs. So there are many different reasons that could be causing this shot, but what we do know is it's a fairly destructive shot because the distance you get is nowhere near what you should. And especially if you've got a hold such as this one with water short, you're definitely going to be racking up a high number. So as I said at the start, there's many reasons that can cause this, but we're gonna just touch on one reason in this video and give you an idea or a feeling you can have when you practice or when you play, which is hopefully gonna help you make contact with the ground after the golf ball that's gonna get you that nice compressed feeling that we're all searching for, and that's gonna help you generate some more distance and certainly the distance that you would expect. So when I see golfers hit the ground before the ball, there's one thing that I see quite commonly, and that would be they take their starting position and all looks pretty good, ball position's fine and setup's all pretty good, but as they make their backswing, their upper body has a tendency to move a little bit too much laterally off the golf ball. So you can see how my legs haven't really slid, but my upper body has. Now what that's really done for me is it's got me a little bit out of sync with my upper and my lower body. Now many of these golfers who are hitting the ground before the ball are often trying to get more weight or more pressure onto that lead side because they've been told that if they can do that, that's a great way to make contact with the ground after the ball. So when they've made this movement away from the ball and their head has moved a little bit off, what happens then is as they start to push their hips towards the target, that move into the hips towards the target actually forces the head even further back. And we get a lot of what we call side bend. So I'm tilted with my upper body excessively away from the target. My left shoulder's gone up far too soon. And from here, even though my hips have gone towards the target, I've really increased the chances of me contacting the ground way before the golf ball. If I don't hit the ground before the golf ball, I'm probably gonna thin that golf ball. I'm probably gonna present a lot of loft. It's gonna go very high. And even if that contact feels pretty good, it's not gonna go the distance that I would want it to go. So here's what I want you to do in practice or on the course. And bearing in mind, this is a feeling. A feeling that doesn't necessarily have to happen in reality. We don't have to actually achieve this. But the idea of this is hopefully gonna get you striking those iron clubs a lot, lot crisper. So what we're gonna do is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to feel that we keep the head a lot more centered in the back swing. So the idea would be, I feel like I'm keeping my head a lot more over the golf ball. That's gonna be our first thing to stop that head moving a little bit off the golf ball. The second thing I want you to do, and this is more of a, an, an idea, is imagine that you have got a wall against your lead shoulder at setup. So I feel like I've got a wall against my lead shoulder. What I want to do is make sure my head stays more centered and then feel like when I'm hitting the golf ball, my left shoulder at some point gets slightly forward of that line. What that's gonna do is it's gonna keep me with a lot less of that side bend and that's gonna help me feel like I can get some pressure onto this lead side, but it's also gonna help me feel like I can get the handle forwards, I can start to hit that golf ball with a descending blow as opposed to those golfers who maybe from here as the hips go, the left shoulder goes too high, that's created too much side bend, I'm now in a great position to hit the ground before the ball. So thinking about what this lead shoulder does and thinking about what your head is doing in the backswing is a fantastic way to improve the quality of your strikes. Let me go ahead and hit one. I've got a six iron into this seventh hole. It's, uh, it's playing probably in the region of 170 odd yards and it's a little bit into the breeze. So it's probably a pretty good six iron for me. So I'm gonna feel head centered and I'm definitely gonna feel like I move my lead shoulder slightly forward of where it started at some point in that golf swing. And that absolutely felt fantastic of the club face. Great strike. You can see that I've hit the ball and then the turf, which is exactly what I was trying to do. That feels fantastic. That compressed feeling that we're all searching for, that gives that nice penetrating ball flight with a good distance because I've started to slightly deal off the golf club and present a lower loft than what is actually built onto the golf club. So if you're struggling with your iron shots, you're hitting the ground before the ball, think about what your head is doing in the backswing and think about what your lead shoulder is doing in the downswing. If you can fix those two things, there's a very, very good chance you'll be able to strike the ball just like that one and hit some much better shots out on the golf course. Thank you for watching. All the usual stuff is down below the video. There's a subscribe link. There's also a like box, uh, a like button, I should say, and there's a comments box down there. So let me know what you thought of the video. And also, if you've got any suggestions on videos you'd like me to film in the future, drop them in that box down below, and I'll do my best to film as many as I can in response. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.